Minnesota's broadband speed goals state that by 2026, all of Minnesota should have access to broadband at speeds of 100 megabits per second download and 20 megabits per second upload. 223,000 rural Minnesota households still lack access that meets this goal, as compared to 8,000 households in metropolitan areas. Internet is so bad that I can't even give away my password. People don't want it. <laughs> my internet service is so bad that we can't even watch a movie without it being twice as long. <laughs> my internet service is so bad that once I had to drive through very deep snow banks just to get to the school so I could communicate with families to close the school for that particular day. My connection's so bad, I'm still trying to finish a meeting from last week. Internet service is so bad that sometimes I think I'll be frozen in that position that people see me on the screen forever. <laughs> internet service is so bad that sometimes I feel like I'm living in the 90s with the dial-up internet. Uh, my internet service in the area is so bad, I I'm gonna be politically correct, that we can't we can't act, we can't effectively meet the community needs. Um, it is so bad sometimes that it's non-existent. In summer 2021, community champions in the East Central Minnesota counties of Aiken, Pine, Kanebeck, and the Mille Lacs Tribal Economy which suffer from some of the worst broadband access in the state, stepped up to participate in Blandon Foundation's Community Broadband Resources Accelerate program. Thanks to their participation, Aiken County successfully applied for and received $4.8 million in federal COVID response funds for broadband projects, and Pine County received $3.7 million. Members of the Mille Lacs Band of Ojibwe living in these counties will also benefit from these investments. Leslie Souter, Economic Development Director for Pine County, wrote us, Without the knowledge and connections made through Blandin's broadband program, this couldn't have happened. Mark Jeffers, Economic Development Coordinator for Aiken County, wrote, Thank you. This would not have been possible without the guidance and learning that we received from Blandin.